And what's going on? Fontaine here, and we're back on another video from the MK3. And in this video, we're going to take a look at just slicing up some audio. Now, we have other tutorial videos that go really further in depth as far as fading in, fading out, uh, truncating, normalizing samples, overlapping. This one's going to be just a little bit more basic, being that this course is designed for people who are new. So this is going to be kind of like a novice uh, slicing and chopping. All right, so as you can see right here, uh, I'm under the plugin instance, but we're going to exit that. Okay. And we're on a sound level. And this is the sample that we're going to be chopping up. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sampling. And as you can see right here under sampling, you have record. That's when if you want to uh, record from an external device, for example, a turntable. The MK3 has two line inputs where you can um, use one quarter inch jacks and put those jacks and get your audio signal by pressing record. And <clears throat> you have different recording uh, sources, such as external stereo or external mono. You have different inputs. Okay, as you can see right here, this is group B, this is group C. You can sample from groups from other groups as well. That gets into more internal sampling. And you have different sync modes here, such as detect and sync. You can detect from certain thresholds, things of that nature. Pressing start will start the recording, and you can set the length of the recording uh, right here. That's something you can do, you don't have to. You can stop it also while it's on the fly. That's that section. Zone, this is more or less when you want to stack and layer um, your samples and things of that nature if you want to trick them by certain velocity uh, notes and things of that nature. Edit, this is where if you want to truncate the sample, you have to start and end points here. So you can get in here and fine tune your sample. You know, if it's just a certain part of your sample that you want to find, you can just, you know, hone it in on here and click apply and that will, you know, truncate your sample. And there's different settings in there, such as stretch. This is basically a time stretch. Machine has an offline time stretch. So you have the settings here. You see right here when you, when you um, hit your settings, it gets more into your source beats per, beats per minute, which is basically um, what this is sliced into or truncated into, I should say. But new, new BPM is your source session. So if I were to apply this, it would actually speed the sample up, uh, or rather it would slow the sample down just a little, little bit to fit the session. Okay, then you have different modes, such as beat or free. B is more on time. Free is more, I would say, more for like vocals and things of that nature. Uh, the four minute correction, you can turn that on as well. I believe that's more for vocals as well. And you have your, um, your tuning here, okay? And you have your length of bars for the session and all that good stuff right here, all right? So we're not gonna worry about time stretching right now, but I figured it was worth mentioning. You can duplicate samples, you know, copy and paste and all that good stuff, cut certain areas. But again, that's another um, tutorial video that we have, we'll throw it in the course for you. What I'll do is I'll, I'll throw it in, you can check it out. All right, so let's go ahead and slice and chop up the sample right quick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to slice, and you have different modes here, such as manual, grid, split, or detect. Detect will basically uh, detect the biggest note events that's going on in the sample, as you can see what it's doing here. Split will divide the sample up until equal distance slice points, as you can see right here you have four equal distance slice points. Number of slices four. You want to make eight uh, slices, you just simply use the touch sensitive knob here, 16, 32. As you can see, it's putting more slice points in there. Man, a lot of producers, they like more slice points. For me, I really don't need that many. In this video, I'm going to do four. Well, now let's, let's, do, let's do the auto chop feature. Um, but before we do that, grid is here, grid based. Um, actually slices up the sample based on the beats per minute in your session. So we're going to do manual instead. Because I think manual would be a cooler way to display it. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if the camera's uh, picking up this, uh, this pad right here. But this pad right here is actually flashing. It's ready to go. So once I start tapping on the pad, it will start to auto slice the samples based on however I hit the pad. It won't put a transient or it won't put a start and an ending point until I touch a pad. So once you hit your first pad, you want to start getting your rhythm down and going down the pads. All right, so you can see right there, we have one, two, four, six, eight sample slices. 
okay? Your length is here, okay? So one thing you can do, or one thing that I'm gonna do, you can click apply. That's one thing you can do, it would apply it on this group here, which is group B. But what I'm gonna do is gonna make a new group in the software. Just give me a second to do that. Group D, then I'm gonna go back. I created group D, I went back to group B, where the sample is. And what I'm gonna do in the software side of things, I'm gonna hold down the little drag icon. And I'm gonna take the drag icon, I'm gonna take the sample, and I'm gonna drag it over to group D, like this here. See the little plus icon highlight, then I'll let go. Okay, now it appears in the software. Now you see right there, it's just a little bit off in certain areas, but that's only because of the beats per minute. If you want to put it more on time, I mean, not beats per minute, but the um, I have this icon here, not highlighted. Okay, so I could take it like this here, and I could put it, you know, more on time. Shift quantize. That's another way you can do it. Like this here. Okay, so. So you can see right there by dragging it, it put it perfectly on time with the session. And you can get in there, you know, you can move sounds around. You know, if you want to get in here, move sounds around, you know, can play around with your samples and, you know, put them on different keys and things of that nature and get different uh, melodics out of that. You can go ahead and you can do that as well. But to keep the tutorial brief, simple and to the point, I'm just going to leave it like this. Now you can go back to sampling. Okay. And you can see right here, the sounds are here. So if you wanted to edit up your samples, you could do that. You know, if you wanted to fine tune them, you can click edit, go in there, and if you need to change something just by moving your start and end point. Or if I was on a different sound here, you can go in and overlap samples. You can see right there it's overlapping that sample. Overlapping samples, or if you had to edit a sample, that's one way you can do it. Okay, I can exit the sample, go to the sound level. I can set the polyphony for each sample. That's what I'm doing here. So now what happens is they basically choke each other off in a sense. how you can get that done as far as getting things set up. The faster way you can do it is from the software. You can hold, um, you can touch one pad, then hold shift on your uh, keyboard. And then you can um, select your polyphony here. Now, it's already on one, but just to make an example, let's say if I put it on two, for example, and then touch another thing here. Now, you can see right here the polyphony is on two, and I'll mute the audio so we don't have to be annoyed by that. But you can see right there they're all set to two. That's because holding shift on all the pads to give you more speedier workflow. Select one like so. You also have choke groups here. You can go in here and select choke group one. You also could link sounds as well. Linking just basically means when you hit one pad, it will trigger another pad at the same time. All right, so like this here. As you see right, right now, they're all in the same choke group. Or you can put them all in the same link group. All right, so that concludes this little session here, and I will see you on the next one.